guys, welcome to another edition of Pro Wrestling Breakdown. And let me fix my camera here. Okay. So, I'm doing a review this week, but I'm going to be honest, Raw was that good this week. Um, so, this is going to probably be a quick one. And, um, and I'm thinking about possibly skipping the weeks that just aren't that great. And just... Um, doing them on the raw act of a pay-per-view and reviewing on how, what I think, um, how just, just talking about the current status of the WWE um, after that. Because honestly, <clears throat> if Raw is not that great or kind of just blah, um, there's no really need to talk about it. Um, so this week it starts off with Jericho on the highlight reel saying Ambrose is not going to be here. Um, I took him out. He was put in the hospital last week, um, because of Mitch getting smashed over his head. Uh, <clears throat> the big cast comes out and he, um, confronts Jericho and basically that sets up the main event, uh, for Raw. And it was pretty, pretty, uh, irritating at the end of Raw. And I'm going to kind of, I'm going to go ahead and jump to the end of Raw to talk about that. Um. So throughout the night, I mean, right after that, you had an altercation with Stephanie McMahon and Jericho and saying, yeah, we're going to make it the main event. Big cast and you, and you find that out. Um, but then you get the, uh, later on you get an interview with Big Cass. And so they're building up the match pretty well. But then at the end, Dean Ambrose attacks Jericho during his entrance where, you know, he's got his arms out and doing the whole light up jacket, and Ambrose beats him up. Um, kind of interesting, though, because we've never seen that. So I thought it was interesting, but uh, like a lot of people have said about this week's Raw, it, it was kind of weird placement. Like, in all honesty, it should have been the women's match to end the show if they wanted to do something different. Because... I heard a beep. I thought it was my wife coming in. Um... But, um, yeah, it should have been the women's match because how how the women's match ended, that would have been a kind of cool way to go out. And you could have had Paige celebrating at the end of Raw um, and showing Charlotte and Ric Flair, like, being irate. Or Flair coming back out after um, Charlotte lost and getting mad or something like that. But... It all happened because of Flair getting removed. So Flair could have still been out there because the match was over. Um, definitely. So you could have had them and him and Charlotte throwing a fit at the end of Raw. And that could have just ended the Raw. Instead, you get Dean Ambrose ripping up the jacket. Um, a big cast with a very awkward uh, grabbing Jericho's head and throwing him into the barricade and then throwing him into the ring. It was just really weird. Um yeah, it's kind of odd. Uh, the elimination match is okay, but to me, it just, I don't know. It, it was okay, but it was, when they do these elimination things, it's just, save it for, for Survivor. If you're going to do this crap, do it, do it for Survivor Series. Don't do it on Raw. There, there's no sense. Like, the only reason they did it is because they wanted to have the same match they had last week. And they did it this week. All again. And they wanted to make it different. Just have the match again. Just say, hey, you beat us last week. You're not going to beat us again. And then this time have Roman go over. Roman's team go over. You know, yes, it's the same match, but it, it what the hell is this elimination crap? It's stupid. Because they acted like they were going to have an op a chance to be two or, what is it, three on one. And they should have just did the three on one thing and had AJ go over and just get a win on him now. Because you know what's going to happen. Roman's going to win. Roman's, it's like, I'm going to tell you right now, Roman's going to win. Like, if AJ Styles wins, then it's because the Bullet Club is officially together. And Balor debuts and causes Roman to lose the championship. That's the only way I see Styles winning. Um, and then that would lead possibly to Balor for confusing with AJ for the title as soon as he steps into WWE, which would be kind of weird, but... I don't think they would go that route, but um, or at least setting up him to cost AJ the championship down the road. 
Um, oh, behold it. Um, what else happened on the show? Uh, Gold Dust. And R2 still having their storyline. Entwining Tyler Breeze and Fandango into it. Um, I'm kinda, I kind of like the storyline. It's kind of a goofy storyline. It reminds me of uh, Goldust storylines back in the day. But it wasn't really him doing these kind of storylines. It was more like... I'm trying to think who was doing the storylines like this. Probably like Stevie Richards. Like right to censor. With all these goofy storylines like that back in the day. And it's kind of like what, where they're going with it. And I'm thinking Shane may have something to do with that. <clears throat> uh, coming back and saying, well, hey, let's get these guys on TV and use them. Um, whatever. I just hope our truth isn't going to be fired because he's been around for a while and they're doing these firings and stuff. So who knows? He may be the next one to go. Um, if, if he does go, though, then where's it going to leave everybody else? You know, it's like they kind of got to finish the storyline. So I don't see our truth go anywhere because he does have his funny moments. Um, and I do think he's entertaining. He's not somebody that I think they always can come up with something goofy to make him do. And yeah, he should have a job. I don't think he'll go away. Um, I think he's still got a couple more years on him before they'll get tired of using him and, you know, probably throw him away. Um, like they do a lot of people because they don't see the, um, in what they can do. Unless they're going to eventually take him seriously, but I, I doubt that. I just don't think they're going to take, ever take R2 seriously. Um, they need to. I think he could he could play that angle and go serious and go for the world championship because they've had him in the world title picture before, but sometimes he's just goofy. Um, other than that, you know, Charlotte and Natalia, that storyline's going on with Paige getting a win over Charlotte after Flair gets banned from ringside because Natalia kind of incited it, though. It's kind of stupid how it went down. Um, uh, oh my gosh. <clears throat> I thought that was interesting. I like Paige. She looks looks great. Uh, supposedly, I think she got surgery a while back ago. But I don't, know, I don't really. I guess I noticed it, but not really. Um, I don't think she really got enough done for, I mean, really for me to notice for much. But, um, I mean, she looked great before, so I don't really think she needed anything. So... But I can see Paige coming back into the picture, and she got a win over Charlotte, so it kind of sets up probably that she's going to be the next one to get a shot at Charlotte, um, which kind of makes sense, but then you got all these other women, too, like, you know, <clears throat> but it kind of sets up to where they can have uh, Emma and Becky feud, uh, and there's a new chick that debuted last night. That I've never seen because I don't really watch a lot of NXT. But definitely it's one of her probably tag partners on NXT. Um, so probably see somebody team up with Becky. Possibly Paige team up with Becky since she's the baby face again. And uh, do that. But I don't know. I think um, uh, Paige is kind of like a tweener somewhat. But she's kind of playing to the crowd. So I don't know. Maybe her and Becky will team up. Take on... Uh, uh, Emma and I don't know, I can't remember what the heck they just said her name was, but uh, yeah. So what was the other matches we had? Oh, Zack Ryder versus Kevin Owens. If Owens lost, Ryder would get a spot. Whatever. Um, that was kind of obvious that he wasn't going to lose. Um, Zane versus Miz. Zane beat Miz, so he gets he gets put into the fatal. He gets Intercontinental match. Turns into a fatal four way, um, which kind of makes sense though, because the way they set it up, people—I mean, I would think people would be complaining because, like, well, why does Zayn all night here? The the but the way they set it up is really good. They're like, okay, well, you don't really deserve it. You don't really deserve it, so you have to prove that you're worthy of the title shot. So if you go and beat Miz, blah blah. He he brought that up in the back, but. It was kind of a dumb segment that they had everybody in the back talking. It's like, why is everybody in the back talking? Could have just been the Miz and Zayn, but you had to put Owens there. Cesaro didn't do anything; he just stood there. So uh, Cesaro didn't wrestle. Cesaro was there in his fancy suit, being on TV. Um, 
Let's say Owens wrestled and Miz wrestled, but Cesaro did even wrestle. Um, yeah. Also got New Day with a funny segment in the third hour, taking on uh, the Dudley Boys, and um, I think they almost had the... I don't really know, because it seemed like the Dudley Boys were winning, and the Bob Dillons came down and interfered and cost them the match. And then New Day, you know, New Day, or uh, Deadly Boys got disqualified, so New Day won. So I don't know if that's going to build into Deadly Boys beating down the Bob Villains because they cost them a match, because Deadly Boys kind of disappeared. I don't think they really did much. They disappeared during that whole thing, so I don't really know what happened. Uh, I know the Bob Villains were in the ring beating up the New Day, and. Um, I don't know if the Dudley Boys were helping the Vault 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 Villains, but I don't know. They cost them the match because they just attacked them randomly at ringside. So, um, yeah, it was kind of awkward, kind of weird. Um, I think that's about it. What else was there? I don't think there was much else. Um, AJ, yeah, the elimination match was stupid. Um, it, 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 it was good for what it was, but the elimination part of it, it could have did without that. Um, I guess, like I said, it worked for what it was. But that was it. Uh, um, and, uh, what, um, crap, what else was I was going to say? The, uh, Darren Young thing was stupid. Um, and I watched it kind of in two parts, which that doesn't mean anything. But I still remember what I watched um, a couple of days ago. Because I watched part of it in the last hour I finished last night. So um, I just wasn't into watching wrestling Monday for some reason. It was just, I don't know, like, I, I, the product is just, like, odd at the moment. And it's like they're in between this whole, air, you know, where they're trying to change and they're trying to be more of a wrestling company again. And because they don't know how to entertain us, that's the thing. They can't entertain us. So they have to go to a wrestling company because they can't be the same company they have been. Because they can't do it. They can't entertain us anymore. But the problem is they have to have us a uh, blend between both of them. They have to tell us a story. It's kind of like going back to the days of w like when WCW uh, had their you know, storylines, because WCW was really reminiscent of that, where it was great wrestling, but there were storylines to be told, but everything was mainly told in front of the crowd or in segments in the back. And that's what it's going to. And I have no problem with that. I love WCW back in the day. I got water coming out of my eyes. I'm not crying. I trust me. But um, that's what it's going to. Um, so Raw was kind of blah this week. It wasn't the greatest. It wasn't because I wasn't in a good mood to watch it, really. I just wasn't in a mood to watch wrestling. You know, just because the product is kind of... And probably maybe it's because of Roman Reigns, because like we don't really care about Roman Reigns, so... And we know he's not going to drop the championship anytime soon, so... It's like all this new era crap just ain't doing anything. Like, if you wanted it to mean anything, have AJ Styles win the championship on Raw. Have Roman chasing it. That that would be a little bit different, but then it still would be the same because you still got a guy that nobody wants to. He's in your main event. He's your main guy that you want to push the company towards, and nobody gives a crap about him. So I think that we're slowly going to see Roman get pushed down. That's what I think. Like if they don't push Roman down and they don't push somebody else up there in his, in his spot, it's not going to work. Like they failed with Roman. They couldn't write him into the story better. People aren't going to accept Roman, so they either turn him heel or do something because it's not working. You know, I think that they had their chance to get him over with the crowd and they messed up. So it's just, you know, it's it's crappy booking that got him in this situation where Roman is not accepted. So I'm going to go ahead and end this before the video cuts off because I'm using Screamomatic, as you'll probably see in the recording. Um, so yeah, Raw was pretty horrible. Pretty horrible. I'd probably give it a, probably like a five or six out of ten. It was probably a six out of ten because there were some exciting moments, but that's about it. Like, comment, subscribe, and keep on watching if you want to watch. And uh, love you guys. I love you. That's weird. Keep rocking, guys.